probably the most common question in the business field regarding AI would be how companies can benefit from it. Agla Chuadere, the business development executive at Baltic Amadeus, is ready to give you the answer in just a moment. Agla is an experienced innovation manage management, business development and strategic communications professional. She has worked across multiple industries in both governmental and private sectors on the European scale. Matching her deep knowledge of disruptive technologies such as AI, XR, IoT, 5G and natural ability to build cross-industry networks and projects, Agla is focusing on future-proofing business operations through a digital transformation at her work. She currently serves as an expert evaluator at the European Commission and business development executive at Baltic Amadeus. Let's invite her on the virtual stage with an amazing keynote, artificial intelligence in practice, how companies can benefit from it. Agla. Agla, it's a pleasure to have you here. Do you hear me well? Yes, of course. Pleasure to be here. Thank you for such a wonderful introduction. I didn't expect that. I did so many things. <laughs> this happens every time when you have to submit some information. Then it takes a while for you to submit some information. And then the organizing committee just do, does a proper due diligence on you. So hopefully yeah. you liked it. And we would like to give you the floor. Thank you so much. So hello everyone, I hope you had a lovely day here listening to all the amazing presentations. And um, as already has, uh, has been mentioned, uh, today I'm going to talk about the artificial intelligence in practice and how companies can benefit from it. Just a little bit to add about myself uh, that for the last 15 years, I had been working closely with the disrupted technology, starting with the 3D printing, virtual and augmented reality, serious gaming, custom software solutions, IoT, cloud, and AI solutions for heavy industries. Besides that, uh, I am particularly interested in neuromarketing and how technology could influence our decision-making processes. And um, right now, let's... Uh, dig dive a little bit to the historical facts and think about the humanity on broader scale. Um, from the very early dawn of the humanity, people have always worked hand in hand with the technology. Since the first tool was invented, we have always been looking how to improve, advance and automate our daily life activities of our physical work. Uh, think of transportation systems we use like planes, cars, trains, various home appliances such as vacuum cleaners, dishwashers, coffee machines, communication technologies like our computers and smartphones. All of these technologies enable us to save time, be more productive and globally reachable. Uh, and so in addition uh, to physical improvements in our life, in the recent years, we have started to look for a ways that would allow us to improve our cognitive lives. Here, artificial intelligence solutions became handy. Generally speaking, AI is about improving general functions we do on cognitive level by transferring them to the machines. By doing so, we increase productivity and efficiency on mental level. So right now, when you are sitting in your comfortable rooms or in your offices, just look around them. AI is not a science fiction anymore. From autocorrect to facial recognition systems, AI provides countless of benefits that we as humans became already dependent on. Think of maps and navigation systems we use like uh, Google Maps, uh, Waze, Apple Maps that have been, uh, had been taught to understand and identify changes in real time uh, to get most optimal route suggestions or more com complex facial detection and recognition systems. Um, the, them we had been playing for a while already uh, while using different filters or Instagram, Facebook, or Snapchat applications. Uh, but now when the technology got even more sophisticated, it is widely used as a face ID to unlock our phones or to confirm our identity on banking system. Another very commonly used case of AI is text editors and autocorrect functions like Grammarly. 
isn't it amazing that we do not need to remember all the all the grammar rules anymore and AI can help us with that. Uh, today's marketing industry is not imaginable without the search and recommendation algorithms, algorithms, uh, can't pronounce this word, uh, based on our digital footprints. Uh, chatbots, uh, digital assistants change customer service completely. AI-powered chatbots can answer complex questions, whereas digital assistants uh, could perform various tasks on our behalf. Uh, social media highly dependent on AI as well. It uses um, AI to monitor content, uh, such as connections, target custom advertising companies and detect terms and condition violation or hate speech and take it down immediately. So by now, uh, most people are familiar with the general terms of artificial intelligence, uh, but not many of us have heard about four types of it. Uh, let's look at these types, summarizing the information provided at the Tech, Tech Target and Bernard Marr scientific articles. So most of you probably have heard about the Deep Blue supercomputer that won chess match against Gary Kasparov back in 1980s. Email spam filters and Netflix recommendations are just a few of thousands of reactive AI examples currently used these days. It is the most basic type of AI. It functions in the way it was programmed, the, the predictable output based on the input it receives. Reactive AI algorithm uh, will respond to identical situations in the exact same way every time. Reactive machines aren't able to learn or analyze the past or the future. This type of AI is effective for simple classification and pattern recognition tasks. It can consider a large amount of data and produce a quite intelligent output, but it's not capable of analyzing scenarios that include imperfect information or require historical understanding. The next uh, and the most sophisticated currently used AI is called limited memory AI. It is known for its ability to understand learning data and to improve over time based on its experience comparable to the way the human brain operates. It is also capable of complex tasks. Uh, think, for example, um, about the self-driving cars. They are the great examples of the limited memory AI that makes immediate decisions using data from the very recent past. Bernard Marr explains that self-driving cars uh, use sensors to identify steep roads, traffic signals, and civilians crossing the streets. The vehicles can use this uh, information to make better driving decisions and to avoid accidents. This is the AI that is widely used and being perfected today. As Bernard Mart states, deep learning algorithm and the deep learning revolution of 2012 made limited memory AI possible. With the limited memory AI, uh, the AI, AI environment is built so that models are automatically trained and then updated based on the model behavior. However, tech target notes uh, that despite limited memory AI ability to far outperform average human behavior are certain tasks uh, on the certain tests uh, limited memory machines are still considered as having narrow intelligence because they are behind human intelligence on other aspects it requires huge amount of training data to learn a task human can learn with just a few examples um, uh, within the few seconds uh, probably you have heard of robots kismet introduced back in 2000 and Sophia uh, introduced back in 2016. They demonstrated some aspects of theory of mind AI already. Kismet recognized emotions and could repl replicate them through its facial features, such as eyes, eyebrows, lips, and ears. Uh, Sophia, uh, so-called a humanoid robot, along with her human-like appearance, was also able to recognize emotions and respond accordingly. So this is uh, the type of AI is, uh, this type of AI is considered as the next milestone for the AI's revolution. The most distinctive aspect of this AI is that machines will be able to understand and remember emotions and um, adjust their behavior based on those emotions, just as humans do. 
tech target and bird map mar predicts that it can open the doors uh, to robots supporting everyday tasks, including providing human companionship. This type of AI is also referred as artificial general intelligence. And theory of mind AI can learn from the fewer examples than limited memory AI machines. However, theory of mind AI has not uh, been fully achieved yet. And uh, the final type of AI is self-aware AI. It will be achieved when machines will not uh, only aware of their emotions, but also of their own. When it will be achieved, the AI would have the human level consciousness and intelligence with the same needs, emotions, and desires. It is also referred as um, artificial superintelligence. At this moment, uh, this is uh, just a theory. We do not have neither hardware nor algorithm that could support this hypothesis. When we are talking about this kind of intelligence, lots of questions and concerns arise. For example, will machines will take over control of the world in some way, or what we are going to do when machines will surpass our cognitive capabilities on all the levels? Will we lose uh, control then? But there is uh, not to worry about that so far because some futurists even say that it would happen in the coming 500 years or even more. So, um, but let's get back to the reality and the current state of the AI. Today, we are going to discuss in greater details how reactive AI or limited memory AI could be beneficial uh, to your business. So we all agree that the biggest impact of AI in corporate industries is, is its ability to automate and augment repetitive, data-oriented, high-volume tasks. Uh, AI can do it much faster, efficient, and cheaper than uh, humans do. Think of the banking industry, which is one of the early adopters of the technology. They are using AI to speed up the processes and support loan processing and to ensure compliance. In healthcare industry, for a few years already, AI solutions assist doctors in medical diagnosis. Uh, so generally speaking, AI implementation in your business uh, will help with the op optimization uh, to increase productivity and efficiency, improves customer service, improves monitoring, shortens product development cycles, provides better quality outcomes, ensures better talent management, and helps with the overall business model innovation and expansion. Uh, but um, this is relatively new technology. So you as business owner do not need to dig dive immediately. It is important to collect industry-related information from the trustworthy sites like Landing AI, AI Multiple, Tech Target, AI associations, consultancy companies like Gartner or McKinsey Digital, or even book a meeting with the companies that works with AI in Lithuania. Uh, Tech Target adds to this idea by saying that most companies are not transforming their businesses radically. Instead, they are optimizing ex existing operations in order to be more productive and efficient. This is a very good way to start uh, by knowing the pros and cons of the new technology and giving the time for yourself to take small steps in the transi transition period. So... As you can see from the previous slides, so far artificial intelligence has made significant impact on many industries. Even traditional industries started to see the benefits uh, this technology could bring them. Companies with large amounts of data were early adopters, while traditional companies were slower to adapt. Now, with digital transformation and fourth industrial revolution, more traditional industries like manufacturing, automotive, healthcare, and agriculture are starting to see the benefits of the AI uh, could bring for them as well. Landing AI predicts that AI will transform every single industry, uh, just like elect electricity did 100 years ago. Between now and 2030, uh, it will create uh, an estimate of $13 trillion of GDP growth. 
So in the next few minutes, we will go through different industries and discuss how AI could be used in practice based on landing AI and multiple AI research papers. Just due to the time limit, I am not uh, able to present in great details all the possible AI-driven solutions per industry, but I strongly advise to check landing AI page. The company is co-founded by Andrew NG, one of the pioneers behind AI development at Google and Baidu, and now the CAO and co-founder of Landing AI. You can also find their um, the AI's playbook for business, um, where Andrew and G is giving step-by-step -step guidelines for companies uh, that are willing to start implementing AI solutions in their business processes. As Landing AI notices, every incomplete assembly, scratch, or defective part could be crucial to the whole production line. It is critically important to identify defects correctly uh, and consistently in order to ensure production success. AI Multiple states that today's manufacturing industry is using AI tools to ex extract the data from the field, analyze it, and perform the required tasks during manufacturing. Uh, when these processes will evolve, the machinery will inspect the whole production and will be able to self-diagnose themselves. Finally, AI-powered processes perform faster, continuous, and cheaper in comparison to human-based processes. Also, collaborative robots are working on assembly lines and warehouses alongside humans. Factories are using AI to predict maintenance needs, Machine learning algorithms are used to detect buying habits and to predict uh, product demand for production planning. So let's go to the automotive industry uh, where AI deep and deep learning vision uh, solutions are solving automated inspection challenges previously thought impossible, such as uh, quality assurance on large assemblies. Think of thousands of paint variations and its analysis. Landing AI states that AI deep learning solutions improve production plans all around the world by simplifying the development of automated machine solutions, which identify, classify, and categorize defects. According to AI Multiple, because of autonomous vehicles, the automotive industry is one of the most prominent areas where AI will make an impact. Automotive industry achieved incremental improvements in data collecting sensors, edge compute resources, and decision-making rules uh, and genes. So as AI multiple states, autonomy is now within the reach of the um, very next uh, several years. McKinsey predicts that uh, roughly 15% of vehicles sold in 2030 already will be fully autonomous. While we are waiting for fully autonomous vehicles, AI can assist you while you drive your car already now. This assistance can in include navigation services, reduced uh, fuel consumption, and in-vehicle driver coaching tools. Electricity. A landing AI explains that uh, when we are talking about water critical dimensions, uh, solder reflow low, lead frame, or SMT inspection, AI and deep learning vision solutions offer the ability to inspect complex products with the most challenging stack tolerances. With the help of AI, electronics, uh, electronic manufacturers can solve quality assurance issues previously thought impossible. Defective parts can cause malfunctioning, shorter product life cycles, and cause safety issues. And um, the, the early identification of defective parts um, can reduce future costs significantly and helps to achieve new levels of productivity. And of course, uh, medicine, biotech, and pharmaceuticals. AI has amazing transformative potential on healthcare industry by optimizing delivery systems and reshaping its practices. AI is widely uh, used for in-depth analysis of large amount of patient data to uncover patterns and insights that humans can find on their own. Other intelligent tools help clinicians to develop customized uh, patient treatment plans. Disease diagnosis is another area where AI helps a lot. In pharmaceutical industry, AI tools can also provide recommendations during research processes and support companies to discover new drugs. Uh, 
In genetics, ERA can help doctors and scientists to understand genes and their components with the lower research costs. And of course, AI is an amazing help uh, for future mothers during pregnancy. Uh, it can monitor mother and fetus health. Uh, it is extremely important where regular medical checkups are not available or temporarily suspended as we had similar situation due to the pandemics. Surprisingly, AI is widely used in the agriculture as well. AI and deep learning computer vision systems are helping farmers uh, to optimize yields and collect um, healthier crops, minimize chemical applications for great return on sustainability, reduce workloads, organize data, and take over dirty, uh, dangerous, and difficult jobs. And retail, it is essential to understand uh, your customers in today's on-demand economy. AI and deep learning power solutions help retailers to identify trends, patterns, and customer insights that can drive sales and create loyalty. AI helps retailers to save money by predicting the more, uh, most efficient delivery routes. It also helps to predict sales channels and run fully customized advertising campaigns. Customer demand a fully personalized buying experience and with the simple AI solutions, it became very easy to do so. But here is the extremely important to understand online tracking, behavior profiling and data-driven hyper-personalized uh, marketing techniques. With the right um, knowledge of the neuroscience and AI capabilities, it is almost possible to sell everything for everyone. So as the buyers, we have to be precautious and well-informed about different selling strategies based on technologies. But about uh, that, we need to talk the next time. And the last one is financial industry. We, as a uh, financial industry, was an early adopter of the AI technology. Banks have always been highly digitized and had the most skilled workforce in the market. So AI solutions were kind of natural step in digital, in digital revolution for them. Uh, today, AI is used on a daily basis in wealth management, law approvals, debt collection, trading decisions, fraud detection. Generally speaking, artificial intelligence is transforming how banks operate from the back office systems, customer service, automation, and new opportunities creation. Most of the customer service activities are delegated to AI-powered chatbots, virtual assistants, and AI-powered apps. However, the, the every technological benefits, potential risks are coming as well. So let's uh, go very briefly into the potential risks uh, before summarizing the talk. Tech target names human mistrust uh, of the AI-powered decision uh, as one of the biggest risks for the effective use of AI in the enterprise. According to the researchers, many employees distrust AI solutions or remain unconvinced of its value in the workplace. TechTarget states that AI models become more and more complex every day, and it will, put, it will be, become harder and harder for general employees to understand how AI uh, come up with one or another decision. On the other hand, AI can make errors by itself as well. AI can eliminate human error, but problematic data or training data or mistakes in the algorithm can lead to AI's error. Uh, AI are, uh, errors are much more painful for the businesses. It is counted that by average, human can make up to 30 mistakes per day. Uh, but any program powered by AI handling thousands of operations per day can lead into an uncountable number of the mistakes it magnifies any error dramatically. These days, uh, we are talking more and more about unethical and unintended practices of AI that can lean upon the same poor or problematic algorithm uh, training data. Ethics is extremely important aspect, especially talking about the AI solutions in biotech and pharmaceutical area uh, where data input is extremely sensible. Uh, talking about unintended practices, it is really common in human resource industry not to train well your AI assistant to pick, for example, the right candidate for you. 
AI makes solutions uh, based on experience. And if the data input uh, does not find any successfully hired middle-aged, for example, female applicants uh, to the senior PHP developer position or to the company CAO, it might skip such resumes just because none of the females has been hired before. Even though uh, that can particular candidate could be perfect for the, uh, for the proposed position. For that reason, AI specialists uh, suggest to use video interviews instead of regular CV, because then AI could analyze mimics, emotions, voice tone, uh, besides education and experience and create a better profile for, uh, for a candidate. Uh, the other important risk associated with the AI is erosion of the key skills. We as humans must train and always educate ourselves no matter uh, how sophisticated the future technologies will be. So we won't lose the essential skills at the workplace. Currently, this is a really considered risk of the AI, but having in mind that AI will get clever and clever and you will stop understand the decisions making logic behind it, it is extremely important not to lose essential skills uh, for ourselves so we can understand uh, what the machines are doing. Uh, more and more experts started to talk about that uh, two plane, uh, about that after two planes crashes. Uh, there were some theories and concerns that pilots were losing basic flying skills, or at least the ability to employ them uh, as the jet uh, relied on increased amount of AI powered solutions on the cockpit. These extremes, um, and very sad examples should warn us about the importance to preserve essential skills needed for our work, even though some tasks might get uh, transferred to AI. And finally, it is crucially important to monitor what the AI is learning and to provide current data input in order to ensure that the program has complete and correct information that enables to achieve the right conclusion. And a very, very last thoughts from me today. Uh, at the end, we should always remember that technologies are here to help us to be the best versions of ourselves in our working and living environments and not vice versa. AI will never eliminate human uh, out of decision-making processes. It only makes our decisions more transparent and smarter. Common sense, empathy, intuition, belief, ethics, creativity, innovation, imagination, and ability to adapt. These are just few out of the dozens human specific skills that will never be replaced by the machine. So we do not need to worry about the changes that technology will bring to our lives. Changes are natural. They have always been. They always be uh, together with us. Remember that from the very beginning of our civilization, we have worked hand in hand with the technology. This will remain the same even with the super intelligent technology solutions because we had always managed how to work the it in the best possible way, uh, uniting human specific traits and technology advancements for the common good. And uh, if I can be any of your help, please do not hesitate to contact me uh, via events app or anytime at your convenience on my LinkedIn. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for a really insightful keynote presentation there, Agle. And I would really want this keynote presentation, at least the recorded version, to be shown in all of the schools and in all of the universities, because it gives such a good understanding on possibilities and also the threats that are hiding within. I have a few questions, if I may. Yes, please. Okay, Agle. Uh, what are the biggest misconceptions businesses have while adopting the AI solutions? Maybe even the biggest mistakes from your own perspective or experience? As, uh, as the, every technology, where to start? Every business. <laughs> let, 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 let's start with aligning the expectations. That what, what do you expect from the AI? I think that could be a very big misconception there. It is a very tricky question when we are talking about the older disruptive technologies. Um, for example, it is tricky for startups and it is tricky for the um, mature business owners because 
as a, uh, when the startup wants to create a new business opportunities, uh, uh, find a new niche where to elaborate the business, they are looking into the future trends, uh, uh, what uh, Gartner, McKinsey, Digital, Deloitte, Euromonitor um, researchers are saying. The same with the mature businesses. We Every year we are um, writing the strategic plans for the next year and we are looking into the same data. And we want to be uh, in the pace uh, with the technology. I personally did so many mistakes in my past. I started with the 3D printing, expecting that it's going to be the next big thing. It didn't happen as it was expected. Uh, uh, they said uh, seven years ago that it will boom in the three years. Uh, uh, seven or even 10 years has passed and nothing happened. The same with the AI. Right now, everybody started to talk and we do see lots of um, investment coming into the area. And now more and more businesses uh, are starting to look into this industry. But um, it is really um, expensive for the companies to transform completely their digital identity. That's why I'm what I'm trying to say. Uh, the first step is to educate ourselves and our companies and to understand pros and cons. And we do have the rapid development of the technology. We are at the very early stage of the AI right now. It's just this beginning. Uh, when I started, uh, when I was introduced to the AI five years ago, uh, we, we just uh, been playing with the dog pictures and how to uh, record, uh, separate dog from the cow. And right now, what we see is uh, it's really uh, the AI solutions really implemented into the businesses. So we do not, uh, there will all, always be the uh, misconceptions, mistrust, uh, mistakes, everything, but we have to be prepared for that. And uh, as I've said before, not to dig dive immediately and uh, prepare. Uh, just uh, transform our businesses into AI-powered businesses completely. Just little by little, we can uh, use AI assistant to uh, help our HR managers. We can use AI assistants to collect um, uh, data uh, and to prepare it. Right now, we are using Jesus, how it's called. I already forgot. Um, mm, I forgot that. Um, Power BI solutions, business intelligence solutions uh, for our businesses to help that. Uh, instead of that, uh, the artificial intelligence solutions could be the next step. My God, I've just took too much. Absolutely. It's, it's, it's all good. Thank you so much for this answer. And speaking about expensive, it's a common thing that state-of-the-art technologies usually come with a very huge bill. But if you're a small and medium enterprise, what should be a normal investment that should be deployed for a company to start adopting AI solutions? It depends on their ambition. Uh, for example, look at an amazing um, uh, example we do have in Lithuania, Oxipit. I do not know about the amount of money they started. Uh, they um, using AI solutions to scan X-rays uh, -ray, and help uh, the doctors uh, to read them, uh, they started from the very small solutions and they found the partners, they could uh, test uh, their predictions, how it's going to, uh, uh, to work. And then just business expanded, the investment came. So it is just important uh, probably to find the right niche. That's why I was talking about lots of lots of different uh, industries. So the uh, potential startups who are listening could just grab a few keyboards and just uh, try to dig dive a little bit more into this particular area. If, for example, a big trend is to use AI in agricult uh, agriculture right now, and it's not really um, su such a uh, problematic industry as, for example, pharmaceuticals, and you can just try uh, so that's why I really encourage everyone who is willing to start working with the AI to go to the um, uh, links um, companies I mentioned before, uh, especially Landing AI. They have the whole information there uh, per different industry, uh, what uh, 
they can do with the AI solutions and that um, research could help them uh, to, st uh, to save money because they do not need to use a lot of money to, uh, uh, to test their idea and they can uh, find the right area where they can go. And uh, it is really amazing thing for the young startups, especially to go into the hackathons, to go into the different accelerators that are working particularly with the AI. So they can give you an idea in which area they can um, develop their product and also give some basic uh, investment to start their businesses. Amazing. And also the companies could actually start their AI journey with uh, just ordering some online solution for a couple uh, of hundreds of euros. For example, the assistance for the HRM managers that you just mentioned. And that could be a very beginning of a very big story. Thank you. Thank you for the inspiration, Agla. It was really interesting to listen to you and I strongly advise you to share this keynote presentation across all the educational institutions. Thank you for that. Thank you so much. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Agla Chua, a business development executive at Baltic Amadeus.